I've been working from inside my metal shed for just about a year now. So I thought I'd do this video to see how it's been getting on the past 365 days through the heat of the summer. Obviously the frost, the snow. Is it still standing? Is my stuff getting ruined? Am I freezing cold in there? Am I getting cooked in the summer? Let's see how I've got on in the first year. And here we are in the tat tent, still standing, going strong. It's been a year working in here, processing, picking orders. This time a year ago, I had a metal frame and wooden floor and that was it. And as you saw, I done the insulation. I used spray foam, very messy, very controversial because this is metal. I could have got a wooden shed, but at the time, uh, wood was in like low supply and the prices had more than doubled. So what I paid for this unit at the time was about a thousand, 1,100, something like that, free delivery. So insulation board, obviously with a wooden shed would have been a lot easier. I put it there, I can screw down panels, things like that. But metal, obviously it's a lot harder. So that's why I used the spray foam, spray on, stuck on, and it's done the job well. Cost a bit more than it probably would have getting like boards, but um, yeah, overall I was quite happy with it. Obviously it looks quite messy. And then because it was very orange, basically like a what's it. Oh, here you go. Here it is here. Uh, yeah, wasn't very sightly. Plus uh, I thought I needed just another layer just to separate the cold and the heat from outside. Nice and cheap. I think this was an Aldi at the time. Just the foil insulation, sort of like bubble wrap but shiny and I basically wrapped that all the way around the tat tent and the doors and the roof as well I used spray glue just uh oh, here you go. just used adhesive spray spray it on stuck it down uh, every now and then I have to redo where I'm standing I think where my head knocks it quite a lot um, I have to respray that bit but apart from that all the others are still staying up like the walls they still stayed on. They're a lot easier to do. Spray on, stick it on. But obviously gravity is very much against me on the ceiling. The shelving situation is pretty much the same. This is my backdrop. Uh, yeah, got all the shelving units in. Got a corner one there for my electronics. Another corner one for random stuff. Really useful boxes, 145 litre boxes there. 84 litres here. And yeah, I section it out. So toys, small electronics, big coats t-shirts jeans and trousers stuff like that so i know where everything is for now this area is sort of stuff <laughs> so extra cardboard polyester we've got my labels got them in supply loads of extra like paper like i don't know just random stuff this was from my original unit from big yellow self storage i had a load of stuff that i've just put there and then I've got a drill, my Nintendo. This is all testing area. So little TV, batteries, speakers. There's an amp in there as well. So taking up a lot of space, my idea is to clear most of this. So ideally I don't want this being taken up by extra cardboard. It should all fit under there. And then I'm pretty sure I can downsize this. Then obviously that'll stay as it is because that's testing. Let me move over to the photography area. I've, just, I've been to home base having a clear out so I've got my stool, that will be my, it's a stool slash storage box. So I can store some of this in there or my tools, which I keep in here. So there's receipts, like testing stuff, batteries, screwdrivers, super glue, things like that. Wires and testing stuff again. There's more testing stuff. So there's a lot of space obviously i've got minimal space in here so i need to get rid of stuff that's not really value for staying in here so i'm ideally shrinking that down or getting rid of it and then i'm trying to get rid of these shelves even though they're not quite in the way as much obviously there's still a lot of stuff that i could pack away hide away so that's the idea there photography area I'm, at the moment i'm using just a put away table but my back kills bending over taking pictures all day this is actually higher. I've had to put, as you can see, a really useful storage box on top of my feet, my leg, my table legs, and then my tabletop, because otherwise it's down here, I'm bending over all the time, and yeah, it's killing my back. I'm an old boy now, we're gonna be 32 soon. So I made that higher, which isn't ideal. Packing bench do exactly the same. All the cardboard under there, packing supplies, scales, pens, returns. Uh, I'm going to be polishing them soon. Postage supplies again, 
tape, void fill, bags. And then we come to goods in. So this was absolutely full. My idea was that's goods in, and then this side is listed. But then I had the spare one, goods in, and then it's overtaken this as well. And until I'm going buying again, it has to be completely clear, like pictured and listed. So I've managed to clear all this. So this box is now pictured and half listed. All these are clear now, all empty boxes, which is good. And I'm halfway through doing this. So as you can see, that's clear. But one, two boxes of clothing, one box of jeans, and then footwear and some skates. After that, I then move to this side, which is all basically electronics. Speakers, speakers, and hardware, wooden stools. That's a Cindy doll house that I bought a while ago. Loads of camcorders, more like speakers. Uh, that needs oiling, typewriter, tees made, record players, VHS, some more speakers, stereo. So it looks a lot, but once I get cracking, obviously it's bigger stuff. So literally one pair of speakers, that's a big thing out of the way. Once I get started on the electronics, this will soon go. So my main thing this winter has been blooming clothing. I've got too much of it, <laughs> but I'm nearly there. Once it's all listed and that, crack through the electronics and we're all good hopefully for the end of March when my boot sales start roughly if not start of April and coming back to the photography area like I said I'm having to use a empty box to make it higher because it's killing my back and I've been looking at tables like them smart tables that go up and down so for whatever reason I can sit down picture like shoes for example smaller stuff and then I can stand up test electronics or test bigger stuff picture bigger stuff like that and then as if the universe was talking to me i had a sponsorship opportunity in the previous video you would have seen for the flexi spot smart table uh yeah so so lucky to have that the sponsorship deal was obviously the table for this uh, 90 second two minute ad in my previous video and that was it so this next bit is not in the contract not sponsored but i'm so far very impressed with it I was doing this video, I was going to include building it, setting it up, seeing how it gets done, and then see how it's going to change my space. Hopefully change my back health as well. Yeah, I'm excited to put this up because I've actually been looking at getting a standing desk and I've been putting it up for a while because I'm tight. But lucky enough to get this sponsor and I'm very excited. The desk came in two boxes. This is such a heavy box. It was like 39 kilograms or something like that. But that's all the frame and that in there. And then my choice of tabletop, which I've already unpacked earlier, I chose the ebony wood finish. What was the size? 120 by 60 centimeters. Yeah, not like lightweight stuff. Really nice finish. Yeah, I'm pleased with that. And then I went with the white frame. I think it was the choice of black and white. I thought black and black were too much black. But um, yeah, I went with the white, white and black finish, bit of monochrome. I'm basically gonna try and fix it all up try and fix it together uh, and then let's see how it works. Doesn't seem like cheap, flimsy stuff. The box, like I said, just with the frame was like 39 kilograms and like the legs are really heavy. So um, yeah, I'm gonna put you to one side, bit of a time-lapse. I'm gonna get together, report back how easy it was, how quick it was, or how long I took. And we'll sit it up in a tat shed, all ready to go. And see if it improves my back health. <laughs> So, so far so good, and so far impressed with the instructions and everything. It's going together nicely. The only bit I am struggling with is my own fault. I was in a rush. I knew I had to get the girls, but luckily there's my school alarm. Rushing, and I was getting it the wrong way up and that. So that's my own fault, nothing to do with the instructions. Amy, the wife's gone to get the girls, so I'm all free to do this. But yeah, the instructions are really good. Just simple instructions and even the screws all lettered, A, B, C, D, F, F. Yeah, and it tells you what one to go in. Because some instructions with flat pack stuff is a bit of a mission, but so far this is all good. Done the main frame. That's like the main power unit there with a couple of like the legs. There's the wires there that will go into the main unit, I'm guessing. And yeah, I was just putting on the legs. Was it all lines up, make it a lot easier. I'm not using an Allen key, just using my hand screwdriver drill and on instructions it says I just need the C screws so simply go to my screws section C four of them then just screw away it's 
sorted. Built. All done. A few tricky bits, but uh, it wasn't too bad. Just on this middle bit, if you do get this exact model, it's just about loosening these nuts and you have to adjust it to the holes to the size of desktop that you have. So that was only a little tricky bit. It wasn't too bad. Just took me a minute or two just to know what the hell I was doing. But all done, plugged in, got the remote control, power adapter. So let's flip it up the right way and then attach my accessory that I chose. Oh my God, that is so heavy. <laughs> So we'll see, without breaking it, hopefully. Yeah, it's definitely not a cheap thing. It is really heavy. Ooh. There we go. Right, so there is the tabletop. That is smooth. Cool, right. Now the accessory I chose with this is the clamp power strip. So this is an additional extra. Here we go. So obviously I buy lots of technology like VHS players, DVD, amps, whatever else, turntables. Uh, yeah, this power strip, obviously, three regular mains, USB and a USB-C. So nice and up to date. Just hooks onto the edge of the table like that or wherever I want to put it. And that is it. Obviously plug in to the mains. And then I've got an easy access testing port as well. Shall we uh, plug it in, see what it actually does? Obviously make sure it works. It should just be a case of Plug it in and off we go. Right, oh, there we go. There's the display straight away. Oh, there's an extra USB. That's handy, someone there. Oh, there you go, didn't know that. Extra USB, handy for charging my phone. Right, let's go. Oh, up it goes. So I think these, they're for setting, I think. Yeah, this one's standing up and sitting so I can do a memory with that. But uh, yeah, let's see how high we go. Still going. Look at that. So I'm six foot, or a centimetre under six foot, and there you go. Comes up to my nipples, <laughs> up to the Nike swish there. And that's me standing up straight. So that is full standing mode. If anything, that's too high. Maybe if I'm on the laptop, but I think for taking pictures and that, that's maybe too high. So we'll see, I can then just adjust. There you go, that's the lowest, and that's just above the kneecap, sort of lower thigh, and that is the lowest it goes, so obviously when I'm sitting down, what's that? That's a very low desk, <laughs> so I probably won't have it that low at all. I'm guessing this number here is centimetres, so 60, 60 centimetres off the ground, is that the highest? 125 centimetres off the ground, wicked. So maybe, let's go a bit lower, what's 120? Maybe... 110. I think 110 seems to be, so if I'm putting shoes down, there's my backdrop, sorting shoes out, putting them down. Yeah, I think 110 seems good. And then we've got the memory, what's it? So, memory one, and then, so I think I've just set the memory for standard position, so it should automatically go to 110. If I say sit in position, say 72, there we go. Uh, memory number two, so if I press, there you go, I press number one, which is my standard position. Ooh. Should be one press and it goes automatically to 110 that I set it at. Boom, there we go. So I don't have to hold the button down, slightly adjust it. I've set my memory for the standard position and then my seat in position, press the seat. It should go down to, what was that set up? 72? If I set it properly. Oh, there we go. Boom. 72. So literally come down, sit down, say, oh, I want to stand up now. Press the standing up position and then just wait a few seconds and then it'll be ready to stand from. Wait for it. Hey. That is a cool piece of kit. Maybe the most impressive thing is the fact that uh, it goes up to 125 kilograms, which I think I am. 
I'm hoping I'm below 125 kilograms. It's taking me up. We're still going. Oh God. Maisie! Yeah. Help. Down I go. So yeah, I can confirm you can have hours of fun doing this mm -hmm. if you're 125 kilograms or below. It also comes with a anti-collision safety feature. So if someone like a child was to go underneath it, it stops, I think. Or try and squash me, Maisie. <laughs> oh, there you go. And it stops, do it again. Mm -hmm. Hold it down. Mm -hmm. oh. There we go, safety, and also on the upward motion. So if you press up, Maisie, hold your thumb down. Yeah, there you go, do it again, hold it down. Boom. <laughs> safety features. Safety is fun. <laughs> the only thing I've got to do now is uh, get it in the tap tent. That's gonna be fun. So when I measured the table, what size I wanted, it was actually the smallest size that I could fit in here. But still, I need an extra sort of 10 centimeters. And obviously you have a rack in there, so I have to do a bit of shifting around. But hopefully, in a second, and there'll be a nice space for the new table. Boom, just like that, it's in. Now I've had to make some arrangements and it's gonna take a bit of sorting to fully get myself back on track again because what the way I had it was literally Tetris perfect like fitted all the shapes in so making the most of the space but it was 12 centimeters longer than my original table which I had to cut down anyway that was cheap so it didn't matter so yeah it's in obviously plugged it all in uh, all working okay so that's my seating position if I would like to sit down I can get picturing in it all set up from a standard position so when it comes to wrapping picturing i don't have to bend down so much so now i'm just literally standing here i have my proper background against there and then i can just snap away do 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 or i can adjust it slightly snap a -roo. done yeah i'll probably play around with the settings yet just to get my proper comfortable position and um yeah, super, super happy. Me again. Change my mind. I've had a complete change round in the storage unit. That's where the desk or the table was. It is now just my used to be goods in area. So I now come in from the door. My table is now directly on the right, which I'm going to take pictures from. Bits and pieces like that. Plenty of storage underneath. Wrapping area, still the same. But this is now the only goods in area, which is now doubled up. So that goes too deep, which is obviously at the moment full. So I'm aiming that's going to be non-clothing and shoes. And then this side, goods in area, if I have to, this will be the shoes and clothing area. So this is all now goods in. That's all packing and picturing that stuff. And then the rest is then just shelving for stuff that's pictured, tested, stuff like that. If it's for sale or once it's listed, all of this from here will be just for sale stuff going all the way around, all boxed up. The idea is this one, which I said for clothing and shoes, should be clear. So I can have loads of boxes full of listed stock and I can then just focus on the one doubled area for goods in to then process on my new table throughout the week. So it's literally, it comes in to the left, bring it to the right, picture it or test it on my desk if I really have to. Then comes around here, it's been put away, wait for it to sell and then it can make its way again to here, to there, I guess, and then out the door. Sounds like a plan. Hopefully throughout the year, I can stick to it. Stay tuned to find out if I do or not.